Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Love Laji here with another video. Today I'm doing a video on this look as you can see. It's too popping, okay? It's too popping. I actually did a look like this before um, last year. I filmed a video with the same look, but the video ended up getting deleted. I know. But I guess it's a good thing why I didn't put out the video. So, you know. You know, good things come in disguise. So I did actually recreate the look on New Year's and a lot of you guys said you want to see me do a video on this look. So here you go. This video will be a voiceover just because I feel like I need to concentrate and I didn't want to like, you know, mess up while I'm talking because sometimes I could be talking too much and I just didn't want the video to be so super long. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Yeah, leave me some comments down below so you know we can chat about what you want to see in my upcoming videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my uploads. And I will see you in the video. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Base Primer. I don't know, I just saw um, an ad for them and the color was very vibrant. So I was just like, why not use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer to prime my eyes? And it actually turned out pretty well. So I'm going to use a dose of colors palette i forgot what color that was but as you can see it's like a nude color and i'm just using it as you know a transition shade for my crease So I'm just switching over to a fluffier brush just to, you know, use that same transition shade in my crease. And then after I use this transition shade, I'm going to use another transition shade in that palette just because I want to have more dimension in my eyes. You know, if you watch my videos, I love adding dimension just because I just feel like it makes the look look way better when you have more dimension instead of the colors just laying flat on your lid. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Jean Basquiat palette. I've used this palette probably two times before and never picked it up again. <laughs> but I love the blue in this palette and I'm just taking that um, with a flat shader brush and I'm just patting that on top of the lid just creating a lot of color on my lid. And then I'm going to diffuse it out with like you know a blending brush. And I'm just patting that on the lid right now just to pack that color on just because it is very pigmented. But sometimes it can show up kind of, you know, patchy. So you really have to pack it on. And as you can see, there is a lot of blending that goes into this look. The blue is really the most part that you're blending because you just don't want the blue just to be sitting there in your eyes. You want to diffuse it a little bit around the edges. So you're going to be blending a lot. That's really like the part that takes the longest on this eye. The eye is like is a very simple look, but you just have to really blend out the edges on this blue. So to give this look a little more dimension with the blue, I'm taking this NYX powder, like, um, I forgot what they're called, but I mean, pigment, yes. I'm taking this NYX blue pigment. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put all the products in the description box. And I'm just placing it on top of the blue just so I can get, you know, different shades of blue on my eye. Just because, I don't know, I just like doing it. You don't have to add all these extra steps, but I'm extra, so I wanted to add that. Okay, so after diffusing that blue pigment, I'm going to take my NYX Mixing Medium and just place that on the lid. 
and then I'm just going to pat that on top not you know don't blink because you don't want it to mess up but then I'm going to go into the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette and just take that blue shade right there and just pack that on my lid that's really what's going to make the blue pop more just because it has metallics in it and I love this palette so much I really use this palette really often and I didn't think I was going to use it that often but I use it pretty often and you can see this blue is popping like that's really what's giving it this look this mm, look and if you don't have the palette the galaxy palette I know it was limited edition I'm pretty sure you can any like use any um metallic looking blue like if you have the morphe I think 35 uh 35b palette then it has like a metallic blue in that palette as well I'm just going to take this icy blue color and just put that in the inner corner. I'm also later on going to put that um, on a waterline as well. But I feel like that gave it a pop as well. Just put in that icy blue in the inner corner. Like it just did something to it. Like I'm so obsessed with this look. Like as you can see, I'm really obsessed with this look. Like I look pretty cute. Okay, no cap. So to finish up the eyes, I'm going to take the same blue and go ahead and put that on the waterline and connect it to my other shadow. And I'm just taking my detailed shader brush and just carefully placing that because sometimes I be getting it in my eyes and it's not a good feeling. It's not. And then after I place that right there, I'm just going to take a transition shade that I've already used and just go ahead and blend it out a little bit. So I'm just going to add more of the icy blue and place that on the waterline as well as my inner corner and just to add more of, you know, a dimension between the two blues. It's really nice, like the way the light blue contrasts against the dark blue. So I really like how it looks in the end. I'm just going to bronze up my face with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder in Milk Chocolate. And then I'm going to add some blush by NYX. Um, I can't think of the name right now, but I'm just going to put everything in the description box anyways. And yeah, I'm just finishing up my face and then I'm going to do my mascara off camera. Because you know, I always have a... It's just a long process for mascara, so I'm just like, I'd rather not put it on camera. And I'll be back when I do my lips. Okay, for lips, I'm just taking my Ruby Kisses Lip Liner in brown. I always get this from the beauty supply store. They're only 99 cents, and they last a long time. Like, I would just never feel comfortable buying, like, a name brand. Well, Ruby Kisses is a name brand, but, like, a high-end brand lip liner, again, because they don't give you that much product. And I'm going to take my Knits Lip Lingerie. I believe the name of that is Soft Teddy, but I am going to leave the products in the description box. I love the formula of this product, like... And they last all night long. And then I'm going to take my MAC lip gloss. It was part of the Nicki Minaj collection. So I will also leave the name in the description box below. But I love this pink. 
and it really I love this lip combination like I've never done a lip combination before and I don't know what made me do it but honestly it's too freaking cute like but this is the finished look I love how everything turned out it turned out better than I wore it on New Year's actually but go ahead and make sure you comment like subscribe and I'll see you in my next video